orange or apple which of them is healthier some people say we need to eat oranges it is extremely healthy it has vitamin c other people say oh we need to eat apple it has pectin it has high satiating effect or maybe both of them are not very healthy maybe banana is more healthier some people say we need to eat banana it has a lot of potassium potassium is good for our health but some other people say no we need to eat berries berries are full of antioxidants and it has very low sugar it is the healthiest in the world which of them is healthiest in the world actually if we look in literature we find about every fruit which is uh, healthiest in the world that can be the healthiest in the world or these or another but we don't know why we don't know the reason is that we look by a fruit to a very limited number of parameters did you know that one fruit whatever it is for example orange consists of hundreds of nutrients hundreds and we know only 60 of them several hundred nutrients we even don't know what they are but by making judgment people even don't focus to those 60 known nutrients they focus to only one two aspects like vitamin c like antioxidants and then say it is the healthiest in the world no it is impossible it is a very limited view uh, about the fruits don't you think we can make a limited judgment about the healthiness of a fruit only if we consider all known 60 nutrients and then to generate an overall picture about the fruit and then to compare the fruits with each other based on this comprehensive evaluation and then we can say that is healthy that is healthier and that is less healthy that is exactly what i have done i am going to share the results now with you for my evaluation, I have used the most popular fruits that are lemon, blueberry, apple, figs, pomegranate, kiwi, banana, orange, grapefruits, grapes, and cherry. I have looked every nutrient separately. For every nutrient, there is an optimal concentration which is published worldwide by many different countries and the authorities of those countries. That means we know actually how much from every nutrient we should take for optimal functionality of our body um, did you know that the concentration of a nutrient can be also too high and if it is too high it is equally detrimental in our everyday life we focus always to too little nutrient concentration what happens if it is too high it is detrimental it can also kill us in long term and that is what i have seen over decades actually in laboratory we can kill our human cells in laboratory if we give them too much vitamins or too much calcium or iron. Therefore, for my evaluation, I have focused to every nutrient and I have looked if the concentration of the nutrient is in optimal range. If yes, then it has uh, became a plus point from me. Now, for the scientific evaluation, I needed to know for every nutrient what is the optimal concentration actually for every vitamin every mineral or trace element or protein there are a lot of publications how much we should take what is the optimal concentration for of of all of them these publications are made by many different countries but also by organizations and here you can see which publications i have used these publications about the optimal range of the nutrients are similar to each other but they are not the same especially by some nutrients between japan australia new zealand and united states there are big differences therefore it was important for me not to take the publication of one particular country rather to make an average of all publications and that is what i have done and use as scientific background for the evaluation now finally let's look the data together in the beginning the key message is that there is no super fruits and there is no one fruit which is significantly better than any other and their healthiness is more or less the same 
they have a balanced scale between 20 and 30 percent. That is a very important key message, actually. Um, I would like to explain these numbers now, what that means. When we eat 100 gram kiwi, in this kiwi, we take 29% of all nutrients in optimal range. 71% of the nutrients are out of optimal. Those nutrients can be too little, but also too high. Um, Another example, if we eat 100 gram banana, 26% of all nutrients what we should have taken in that meal are covered by 100 gram banana. Now, even though there is no significant difference between fruits, um, some people would like to see small differences as a, uh, uh, significant. If it is the case, here we see the winner is kiwi. And the second uh, best fruit is banana and blueberry. Here I have to outline that blueberry is many, many times shown as the superfruit worldwide. Uh, this comprehensive evaluation shows that blueberry is a good fruit, but it is not a superfruit. This evaluation has another message actually. If you don't have very much money, Instead of buying expensive blueberries, you can buy apple and eat 100 gram from both the same and you get the equal amount of nutrients. I have intentionally shown you the final result in the beginning in order to save your time. If you don't have time, you can stop watching. However, if you are interested to know more in details, like which food has more fiber, more sugar or more protein, please keep watching. In terms of energy, banana has the highest energy and uh, the second uh, fruit with high content of energy is then pomegranate. Uh, lemon and blueberry are uh, the lowest energy containing fruits. In terms of carbohydrates, uh, again, uh, banana has the highest carbohydrate with together uh, pomegranate because also the energy was high and this energy comes from the sugar actually from the carbohydrate. And the lowest carbohydrate containing fruit is lemon and blueberry together. In terms of sugar, uh, again, pomegranate and banana has the highest uh, sugar. That was also part in carbohydrate, actually. The higher the carbohydrate, the higher is the sugar content. And again, the lowest sugar containing fruits are uh, blueberry and lemon. In terms of protein, I was thinking about if I should show this diagram because they are more or less all the same and protein doesn't play a role in fruits actually. Uh, that is uh, below 1% or around 1%. Let's look the minerals. The minerals are potassium, calcium, magnesium and phosphate. I put all these minerals together in a group and then called the group as a mineral. When we look in detail and we see that kiwi and banana has highest mineral content and to my surprise blueberry has the lowest mineral content. Iron, zinc, copper, mangan, fluoride and iodide together as a group and then call it trace element. And I was looking if there is a mistake in blueberry why the trace element content is so high and no there was no mistake and I found that uh, blueberry has exceptionally high manganese and that contributes to this uh, high number. I am doctor of biotechnology. I have worked 25 years with human cells to see which nutrients prolongs the life of our cells. If you would like to know more about the effect of single nutrients in our body, please follow me. I put also here all the vitamins in one group, that is vitamin A, vitamin B1, B2, etc. All the B vitamins and then vitamin C, D and E. All together form the group of vitamins. And when we look in detail, there are several fruits with high content of vitamins, that is lemon and orange and kiwi. I look also in detail how it is possible that some of them have may maybe 10 times or 5 times more vitamin. And the reason is that this high content of vitamin comes mostly from vitamin C. Lemon, kiwi, orange, grapefruit, they have exceptionally high vitamin C content. Therefore, the whole group goes up through the vitamin C actually. 
also uh, fruits are not known with very high fiber. They have fiber, of course, but compared to vegetables, they have lower fiber content. Here, two uh, fruits are exceptionally good, blueberry and kiwi. In order to make this evaluation, I have worked around 10 days and I show you the result of 10 days work. I also have learned, I didn't know what will come out from this evaluation. My key message was following. There is actually no superfruits. They are all the same. And uh, depending on your money or on your taste preferences, you can choose whatever you like. But there is another aspect which I have learned. All the fruits have carbohydrates and they have sugar. And especially people who do ketogenic diet, they give a lot of attention not to eat something which has a lot of sugar and carbohydrates. They avoid actually the fruits. But this evaluation show there is one fruit which has a lot of nutrients and very low sugar and carbohydrate and very cheap. That is lemon. You can eat lemon. And I have learned as well, you can eat it with peels. It tastes fantastic, very cheap, very healthy and supports ketogenic diet. Fantastic.